Hi guys. Hello. Oh, people popping and leaving. They must have been new people. I think I just saw Penny. Hi, Penny. Good evening. The weather was awful tonight here. Rainy, raw, windy, terrible. Is my, um, hi Rihanna or Rihanna, I don't know how you say it. Um, is my audio okay on TikTok? Because I'm trying the dual stream again. Cool. Good. What a nice thing when something actually works out on the first try and isn't like a big fiasco. The only way to really test it is to actually be live. So I was stressed out last week about it. Hey, Rachel. I was just saying our weather today was terrible. I had um, morning drop-off duty at school and I have to stand outside for like a half an hour. It was awful. <laughs> Saying hi to everybody, trying to smile through the pain of it being so cold. Alright, let's go. I'm going to try to pop out the chat so I can see it. Not much better here, raining all day. Oh yeah, you get a long Easter break. But you probably, do you have a another break in April? Probably not, right? I'm gonna try popping out this chat too. So I can also see the Twitch chat just in case anyone's in there, but I don't think people are gonna go on there as much. It's more just me getting into the habit of also streaming there so that if we ever need to change anything we can go to twitch just this yeah so we have one week in february and one week in april which is kind of nice to have them spread out so that we get two breaks but two weeks that's nice hey velvet velvet what is your little picture it's so small on my screen looks like a cute little animal Yeah, and then summer. Okay, a day off for bank holidays in May and June, then school holidays. Yeah. Yeah, we start, our last day is June 13th, I think, right now. It's a cat with headphones on. That's so cute. <laughs> Claude was over here, my fluffy cat. But he didn't come up. I don't know if you guys can see him. Let me let go. Which, where is he? Um, other way? No, he's right behind where that chair is, so you can't see him, but maybe he'll come over. Oh, yours is the end of June. Usually ours goes a little bit further because we get snow days, but we've only had one snow day this year. All right, so we are reading through June today. I haven't uploaded May yet to the YouTube page, but I will. I have the recording. Yeah, I think for the recordings, I'm up to, like, April caught up. It's just a pain in the butt to download them and put them back up. <laughs> you deserve the days off. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's been, like, kind of crazy. We just came back from February break. and I mean, we didn't really just come back because the whole month of March just passed me by really quickly. I don't know. Did it fly by for anyone else? Because I'm surprised. Usually it drags. But, man, the energy level of the kids is just very, very high right now. <laughs> I need another break. Hey, Nikki. Alright, so I'm going to write down that we're going through June. And I'll start my little list. And we can just start. Yeah, I did. I, this year, I feel like, in particular, it went by really quick. Alright. So, June 1st, 1901. Maybe we should recap. I think everyone here already kind of knows what's going on, but... 
This is our guy who's writing this diary right now in 1901, Ralph Slippy. And he's working for a railroad company, doing some, what would be the word? He's a draftsman, so he's doing some like engineering and plotting out the new railroad that's going to be built. So there's a lot of railroad jargon. All right, so Saturday, June 1st, he's got the number three, which we haven't really figured out what those numbers mean that he sometimes puts next to the date, but I just put them there and then if we figure it out later, that would be great, but I don't know. And he made the second tracing. I can't believe we're in June either. And throughout, like later on in the diary, I can take a peek. There are a few months that he like doesn't write in, so we're actually pretty close to finished with this one. Let's see. I think it's like, yeah, um, he writes in July. He writes in August, and then it's like September. It looks, oh, he wrote in September, so October is where he stops. And then I think it's pretty much, that's it for the year. So in October, he stops writing in this little diary, but we have more from him. So after we read the 1901 diary, we're going to move on to the 1903 ones, which I'm excited about. Those are going to be like the double readings which i'll i really have to figure out how to like set that up <laughs> so it's easy on the live but hopefully we're gonna read his and um georgiana's together because they both wrote a diary in 1903 and so we'll get both their perspectives kind of simultaneously that way so we're gonna figure that out all right made a second tracing of dallas city went walking In the evening, with Grombine or Grombeam, Schnell, and Titterington. I found Titterington. I didn't do much searching, but I found Titterington um, at the same boarding house that Ralph lived at so he in 1901 is living at a boarding house in burlington iowa and in the 1900 census i think it was i looked like the year before he hadn't lived there yet so he wasn't on the census for that house but titterington was so he's someone who lives in that boarding house i'm assuming that schnell and grombine also live there because he mentioned rooming with grombine but i didn't find them on there First time, his day, the next one heard it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Steph, but the setup of it, I'm going to have to figure it out. Because right now, what I do, very fancy, I take pictures with my phone of every day in order. I guess I have to just, when I take the pictures, I'll have to take a picture of his, hers, his, hers, his, hers. Because when I upload them, they just go right into order, and it's nice, and I just click right through them. So, that's what I'm going to have to do. That won't be that hard. I'll just have to remember. And I'll probably mess up every once in a while, but that's okay. You guys are nice. <laughs> okay, so on June 2nd, 1901, clear. Um, I... That might say windy? Or maybe he's adding something here. Okay. <laughs> Went out to... Hunts with M... And Charlie Hunt and Josephine Jackson. Josephine and I went out to Strawberry Patch. That's cute. And picked my hat full. Oh, that is such a nice little picture. Picked my hat full of strawberries cute. Uh, back to Mrs. Hunt's for dinner. Went to Fern Hollow with Kaiser. Stott and Schnell. Mrs. Gray, 
the Mrs. Bosler. Miss, oh, here's a hard name. U N T E R K I R C H E R. Unterkircher. Unterkircher. Miss Shaley. Okay. Schnell and I. Miss Unter. I think that name might have come up before. Yeah, or a similar one, because I feel like I must have had to um, spell it letter by letter, too. That's a hard one to pronounce. Hold on, I miss, lost my spot. Schnell and I took some coffee at Bosler's. And after, it went out to... Crepo Park. I got some good pictures of Crepo Park, actually. I'll show them after. With Julia Bosler. There's a lot of people in this entry. And Miss Hunter Kircher returned about 11 o'clock. Very tired. So he went to a strawberry patch. I wonder if he's, like, on a date with Josephine. We know who he marries, though, so... It doesn't work out. <laughs> I have pictures of, I have to open this up. I've got pictures of that park. Because he's gone there a couple of times. You over here, okay. So these are pictures, they're old postcards of Crapo Park in Burlington, Iowa, very pretty. He went there, had some coffee, and went to, where did he go? To the, oh, it doesn't say what the strawberry patch was called, but I'm um, curious to look up these people. I wonder if we'll find any of them. I'm just going to write on my list June 2nd because there's so many people that I'm not going to bother listing it right now. Um, yeah, your social battery would be drained if you were him. I agree. <laughs> it's too many things in one day. Um, you've been missing diary TikTok. Mr. Slippy, what does he do? He works for the Quincy, Burlington, Chicago, Quincy, and Burlington Railroad, the CBQ. I said it in the wrong order. But he does, like, engineering and drafting for their construction projects and their bridges. So it seems like he does... Like, he evaluates bridges and railroads that are already there, but then he's also helping them plan for tracks that they're going to build. So he does a lot of traveling around on the railroads and, like, drawing up maps and scale models and stuff. You missed last week. I don't think anything too crazy happened last week. Um, it was April... He did, he went um, fishing, I think that was the week, but there, I don't think there was too much. Or no, it wasn't April, it was May we did last week. I have all of the entries up on my website if you want to read them, but. Yeah, I know, more trains in the diaries. It's kind of cool how all of these diaries have a little bit of a crossover. The last diaries that we read through were also very train-centric. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. I, if anyone wants to refresh my memory about last week, I really honestly don't remember, like, specifically. Yes, it was the train collision last week. There was another pretty rough train accident. Yeah, a train drove into a construction train, like, full speed. But I don't remember what day it was. If I look up train, there's 20 of them. I'll look up the last time. Okay, hold on. Oh, I know what I could look up because he wrote it was a construction train. No, no, I guess he didn't. Oh, we'll go back and find it later. But yeah, there was a pretty gnarly train collision. Hey, Holly. Oh, and some women tried to, they went fishing, him and his friend, 
And then some sporty women tried to make their acquaintance, he said, but they ignored them. So Monday, June 3rd, clear in office, finished leases, plotted McDill, pits one, two, and three. Figured one and part of two. Asked Mr. Beckwith for a raise. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is funny. Asked Mr. Beckwith for a raise. Not much encouragement. But told me I could join Roulette's party if I wished expenses to be paid. Told him I did not care where I worked so long as I got experience and money. <laughs> That's funny. We didn't have the days where, like nowadays, where you have to kiss everyone's butt if you want a job from them. Be like, it's not about the money. I just want to work here because I love your company. That's what everyone wants to hear now. Went on Burlington Institute excursion. Oh, can't spell that word. Excursion. On Otumwa, Bell, and Barge. I don't really know what that means. Bell and Barge. Did not throw no <laughs> did not know many and did not enjoy myself sad got in with crowd towards got in with crowd towards last who wanted I'm just gonna type it and then figure out what the sentence says who wanted everything to be had at the three Refreshment and had all the fun with them. Okay, so he got in with the crowd towards last. I don't know what he means by towards last, like towards the end, maybe. Who wanted everything to be had at the refreshment stand, had all the fun with them. <laughs> That's fun. So the Burlington Institute excursion. Oh, this is the same picture. Okay. Mr. Slippy wasn't really feeling like that man on June 3rd. <laughs> feeling like what man? Oh. June 3rd. Feeling like... Like a man who wanted to have fun in his, on his excursion. <laughs> or like the social butterfly that he was before. <laughs> A little fun. Oh, sorry. Had. It is. You're right. I think. Yeah, it is. A little fun. What a weird um, way to write L-I-T-T-L-E. But you're right. Thank you. Which um, tracks because he wasn't having fun before. We are going to read Georgia's at the same time for the next diary because she doesn't have one for 1901, but... Both she and Ralph write a diary for 1903. So when we get to 1903, we're going to read them next to each other. Okay, so on June 4th, finished figuring McDill pits and plotted up. What is that sound? Oh, it's the cats. <laughs> They're really loud. Batavia. Yeah, it will be fun to read at the same time. It's. I wonder if it's going to be harder to, like, follow the story, though. It won't be once they get married, because their story will be kind of the same, but... Schnell helped. Went out in boat in evening. With Schnell Titterington. Stott. And Grombine. In getting 
out of the way of a large riverboat with In getting out of the way of a large riverboat, we got in the way of it. <laughs> and had the boat not stopped, she would have sent us all to the bottom of the river. All of us pretty badly scared. So when he went, hey Emily, when he went um, boating last time, it was up to Otter Island, which I have a map that kind of shows where that is. Hold on. So it went up the river. I have a nice map that I'm adding to. I don't know why it always automatically brings me across the world. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. So this is where Ralph lives here at the time. This is Crapo Park where they go to. And I'm maybe they go into the water at Crapo Park and they go up the river. Because up here is Otter Island. This is kind of where they went, I think where they went fishing. But I don't know if that's where they are right now, but... They're up in that river. So they almost got run over by a big boat. June 5th. Rain. Figured on final estimate. Of Batavia Ballast Pit. This is all railroad train talk. Schnell. Help. Got caught in storm in going to office after dinner and got soaked. Besides losing my hat. Oh no! Storm came up very suddenly. Paid YMCA dues. 150. Oops. Sh Chanel and Grombine. Oh my god. Here we go. Chanel and Grombine and myself enjoyed ourselves in the evening. He's hanging out with them a lot. In the beginning of the diary, he didn't seem to hang out with friends that much. He was doing a lot of working. But I think these people all live in the same boarding house. He went on a trip on the railroad for work, and then when he came back, he said something about, like, oh, when I came back, Grombine was rooming with me, I found out. <laughs> Worked on Batavia, final estimate. Received orders to report to George Roulette at, I'm assuming that's George. Every time I see Geo, it actually means George, but Geo. Red Oak, Monday morning. And then we have again, 1226 in evening. We haven't really, we still haven't confirmed what that actually means, but we think it's a place. Geo Roulette, that's a new guy. Emily, I don't think you were here in the beginning, but they went strawberry picking, him and some girl named Josephine. And he filled up his hat with strawberries. Clear? Cool. Worked on Tavia final estimate. 1226 in the evening. Started to pack up. Nice. Saturday he finished whatever he was working on. Finished. Octavia, final estimate. And packed up, because he's leaving on Monday. 
paid Mrs. Hunt for board and room to tomorrow evening. Ten fifty. YMCA bathroom? <laughs> what? YMCA bathroom. What does that say? A little while? Oh, maybe like the sauna? <laughs> Spent some a little while in the YMCA bathroom. <laughs> maybe that's what he means by that. Okay, June 9th, rain, finished packing trunk in AM, one, two, two, six in evening, in afternoon, afternoon, evening, took number five to Red Oak. I don't think we have gone to Red Oak yet. Oh, we have, because I have it on here, so he must have mentioned it. So this is the city or town of Red Oak. And it's, you can see all of these little dots align because that's where the railroad is that he goes back and forth on. So usually he just doesn't go that far, but he went all the way to Red Oak, and I guess he's staying there to work for another guy. Oh, he also, if you weren't here in the beginning, he also asked for a raise. And he was not given much encouragement about getting a raise, but his boss said he could work for this other guy if he wanted to, Mr. Roulette. Because all expenses are paid when he works with him. So he agreed. So the weather was hot. Reported to Mr. Roulette at Red Oak. Breakfast at Depot Hotel. 50 cents. And again, I don't remember the cents alt It is 0162. Nice. I'm going to write that down. But I, I throw these away after. These little notes that I take. Oh well. <laughs> I have it for today. That's what matters. Okay, 50 cents. Helped. Sawyer. Sawyer. Cross section. Borrow pits west of town in AM. Set stakes for temporary trestle, trestle for steam shovel track just east of town. Also set a few grade points. D and supper, which is, sorry, pits. I wrote bits. <laughs> Where? Oh, here, borrow bits. <laughs> Thank you. D and supper at Hotel Johnson. So, D stands for dinner, and dinner and supper. Dinner is like lunch, and supper is like dinner. <laughs> Hotel Johnson. I'm writing that down. At Red Oak. We're going to look that up later. Okay. June 11th. Hot again. Put in line stakes for grade points east of town with Smith, Clark, and Lily. He has mentioned Lily before. D at Larson's on top of hill. 20 cents. Twenty cents at or period. At Hotel Johnson. From Stanton on way right. 
Okay. June 12th. Cooler. Ran part of curve. In red oak. Way freight to crossing of new line near Stanton. Set grade points. Working west. Maybe four inch stakes were hard driving with the 16 pound stone hammer. Ells, Clark, Schnell, and Lily caught work train to Red Oak. Called on W. H. Williams and had a fine visit in the evening. D at camp of Lorimer and Gallagher. So someone's camping. Interesting. Maybe other people who are working are camping out because it's summer. June 13th. Went out east of Red Oak in Buggy. And with Clark. Lily Schnell drove stakes to hold slope in out. D at Flick and Johnson's camp received paycheck forty five dollars. Lots of stuff for Felicia to add to our expense list. Oops. Here. June 14th. Okay. On June 14th, staked out highway crossing. Some of these are harder to read because the pencil is light, but overall this month has been pretty, like, relatively easy to read. Staked out highway crossing at 8th Street. Figured cross sections till noon. Hugged out a line about two miles west W, so west of Red Oak. D at Johnson House. So a lot of times we figured out he's eating lunch and dinner at farmers' houses who live nearby to where he's doing work. And I think most of the time they don't charge him. But one time, we know this because one time he said that he was looking for somewhere to eat lunch and none of the farmers would feed them. All right, rain to Hillsdale on number 11. Ran out preliminary A. Two, four, five, plus 70, um, two, three, three, two, I don't know what that says. Three, three, two, plus 16. And this is, we figured out how they use mile markers. So these numbers mean like how far away from the station, but I'm not um, smart enough to track down exactly where that is. <laughs> but sometimes they'll say like the station number and then they give you the, the numbers to kind of say exactly how far down the track they are. But the preliminary, I'm thinking the preliminary A is like the, he's kind of fleshing out where the new lines are going to be, the A line, which they haven't built yet. Dinner at Farmhouse. 
number 14 to red oak so they were able to eat dinner at a farmhouse I wonder if they do pay them usually I don't know I was surprised when I saw that that no one would feed them but I wonder maybe they do give them some money but they still the farmers were just like no we're not gonna feed you went to UP church with Lily Tally Tally on Tallian and okay this just says Snell but he does also have Schnell so I wonder if this whole time he's been in Red Oak is this a new person Snell called on WH Williams in afternoon and stayed for lunch nice time and the back flag is some kind of job that he's doing in this group okay. there's like a bunch of different jobs I don't know <laughs> and back flag is one of them I'm guessing it's the person in the back of the railroad or the the back of the train like waving a flag or something <laughs> okay thanks Rachel for sharing Monday the 17th rain hot oh by the way I also already put in the live for next week I already scheduled it so next Tuesday ran preliminary line a 332 plus 16 yeah it's really not TikTok's not really sharing it today 332 plus 16 to 393 plus 50 oops again mile markers I don't know D at farmhouse which is dinner at farmhouse met team and drove to Glenwood about four miles put up at commercial hotel awful bum service awful bum service back flag I know the the writing is a lot clearer like he's got a better pencil or something because <laughs> I feel like these have been going pretty quickly we're already like halfway through almost more than halfway through um, which is good actually because I have a lot of homework to do today so I don't want to be on here too late <laughs> some of these days it's like really hard to read all of the words because he just like writes like he's whispering but he's very clear so far and there's a lot of longer entries some shorter ones but he's given us quite a few good ones drove out to work and back in evening ran preliminary line a 393 plus 50 two and then he never tells us back flag till nearly noon brush hook i don't know what that means d at farm house does he have a catchphrase um he doesn't have anything like as prominent as some of the other diaries that we've read I don't know what would his catchphrase be he like the other the weatherman diary we had um nothing unusual today yeah well his the catchphrase that they used in the newspaper for him was that man slippy <laughs> but there's nothing that he really says like he says a lot of um railroad stuff which might be his catchphrase but he does say when he said awful bum service he said that a couple of times awful bum <laughs> but other than that I don't really know he's just very direct in the way that he writes yeah there's no um there's not a little like a lot of phrases that he reuses a lot but ran prelim line a station 2597 plus 
29.2. He's more factual. It's like a work journal. Yes, I think it really is a work journal because, well, I wonder, I think he like stops working for this railroad company this year. So I wonder if when he stops working for them, he stops writing the diary and then he starts up a new one. And maybe he even like switched to a different diary. Maybe he has a personal one too, but I don't know. He seems to just be keeping track of his work. But it also seems like right now his work is his life. Like, that's all he does all day is travel around on the train, so. Rained very hard and got soaked. I'm interested in the 1903 one when he has, exactly, Rachel, you're reading my mind, when he has Georgia to talk about and when he's more of, like, like studying, doing his schoolwork. I think he'll have more to talk about, like, people, because that's what I like. Ooh, killed two snakes. I wonder what kind of snakes... And did he kill them with whatever train car he's riding on? Or did he kill them, like... Did he kill them? <laughs> Dinner at Farmhouse, number 14, Pacific. Junction, JCT, to Glenwood. I'm not familiar with all of these places because he's in different towns than he usually is. Yeah, no sketch of the snakes. <laughs> squiggle line, squiggle line. Hot and sultry. I love when they use the word sultry. <laughs> Drove out to work. Hubbed. He also hasn't said hubbed before, but. Hubbed per limb line. This is one of those that's like the light is causing the pencil to shine. Preliminary line D from Missouri... Bottom nearly to Brick Schoolhouse. Walk to Hillsdale. Two miles. Number 14 to Red Oak. S at Depot. So that's supper at the Depot. All night at Johnson House. Dinner, oh, just D, but dinner at Farmhouse. Okay. Wow, we're blowing through these today. Hot. Sharpened axes. In AM. Number 11 to Hillsdale. He cut his hand on the axe in the beginning of the diary. Ran preliminary line B. Station zero to station 157 plus 45. Or stake, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's not station. Maybe it's a stake because they put in the stakes. I don't know. D at farmhouse. All night at Cree. June 22nd, Saturday. Oh, I guess he's working on a Saturday. Rainy, ran preliminary line, preliminary D line, station or stake 157 plus 45 to 330. D at farmhouse, I feel like it is station. Walked to Glenwood, number two, to Red Oak. Saturday, I think he's saying like Saturday Depot Hotel. Spent Saturday at the Depot Hotel. Number 12, to Burlington, bathe or bath and shave. So he's finally back home in Burlington. He's been in Red Oak for like the week. 23rd. Okay, this is a lighter one. Hot. B at oops. Depot in Burlington. D at Mr. or MS Ms. Hunt. I don't know 
know it's right there because he has been talking about people named Hunt, but I thought that I, don't, I thought they were married. I don't know, or maybe it is Ms. Hunt's. Uh, what do you guys think? That's kind of. I feel like it looks more like an MS, but he hasn't really used that term before. That's why I'm kind of. I know it went by really fast. It's been quieter in the chat too. I think like TikTok's not showing the video to as many people, so usually there's more chatter. Ms. Yeah, I think it's. I'm gonna put Ms. Hunts went swimming with Doctor Stott and Appleby. One, two, two, six in. Or one, two, two, six, four. Supper. Ooh, okay. And evening. That's a hint. I don't think he's ever said one, two, two, six to like specifically for supper. Like we know he went there and got supper. So maybe it could be that barn exchange or it could be like a, a restaurant or something. That's a clue. Usually he just writes one, two, two, six in the evening. Wish I could be as dedicated to using a journal like Slippy here. Yeah, he really hasn't left many blank. Very rare for him to leave one blank. But towards the end of the diary in September, he stops writing. Or, like, in October, I think. He stops writing for the last three months. So he does kind of, like, fall off a cliff. But then he comes back. But, yeah, a lot of the diaries we've read, luckily, people have been very um, consistent. It's nice. I'm not as consistent. <laughs> He heard us constantly contemplating the mysterious one two two six, so he gave us a clue. I know. <laughs> I'm waiting for the entry where he goes. In case you're wondering, one two two six is be at Johnson House, number eleven to Hillsdale. Started preliminary line C, station two. D at farmhouse slept in hayloft bum grub so that's his catchphrase bum bum grub rooster crowed at 4 a.m. Tuesday a.m. that's funny slept in a hayloft and the rooster woke him up at 4 a.m. He, I don't think he has a sweetheart right now, but he will. I don't know when exactly he meets Georgia, but it doesn't seem like he's met her yet. Hi, Sparkles. Hot. Finished. Preliminary line C. Number four. I don't know what that... If that's a four with something else crossed out, I'm just going to put number four. Because really it doesn't actually matter. Glenwood to Red Oak. D at Depot. Hotel. Saturday, Johnson House. Figured cross sections. In P... M. Worked. Ooh, he had a long day. Worked 6.15 a.m. to 6 p.m. And he was up at 4 in the morning because of the rooster. <laughs> that is sad. Alright, June 26th. Again, hot. To Stanton with Guy. Sawyer on work train. Cross section. H way. What do we think there? I don't know if that's right, but H W A Y and Creek Channel Highway. Oh, yeah, it could be. Can we put the I in there? 
Doesn't help that I know nothing about train terminology. And Creek Channel. D at camp number 91 to Red Oak. Ran located line station two. <laughs> this just seems like nonsense. Station two, three. I don't know if it's all one number. Four, nine, six. Plus O oh, seven. PI. Two, three, five, seven, seven. Plus twelve. Whatever that means. Oh, and we have more. P O C two three five seven eight. Supper at Johnson House. You know what that means? He ate at the Johnson House. Probably a farmhouse. Okay, twenty seventh. Oh, we've got more of those crazy numbers. Even look at this, he's done like ditto, 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 ditto. Okay. Hot, ran, located, line. I don't even know what that means. Oh, this, I don't want to type all these numbers. Station, two, three, five, seven, eight, two, two, three, six, five, one, four, oh, five. <laughs> two, three, five, eight, Six plus two, four, two, five equals PT of one. I don't know what the degree symbol is. I know this is this is a lot of numbers. I do not enjoy degrees symbol zero one seven six. One seven six. There we go. C S T of nine two two point nine. Okay. I did. <laughs> oh, Rachel, thank you. I was like, no, 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 I'm not going back. That is funny. That is a funny one. It would not matter if I got them wrong, so I'm just gonna go with it. I <laughs> know. Center of old main line. Two three five nine five plus one three one six P I don't know even know if this is P O T I don't know two three six O oh, six four two five point eight and then he just says like ditto marks <laughs> dot 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 I feel like I just want to write like more numbers. <laughs> two, three, six, two, zero. Might as well while I'm while I've started, I'll just keep saying four, six, five. I don't know what POT means. Six, three, five. Almost done. Plus seven, one, four. Period. Dash. Six, four, four. Five, nine, dot, nine. Did I just do the same thing twice? No. It's just a lot of numbers. Okay. Six. Now we've got six apostrophe. Four, two. Good thing this doesn't actually mean anything to us. We don't have to solve it. It's not a code. It's just some kind of railroad, very specific railroad equation related. Very hot. All in party six except myself d at farmhouse s at hotel johnson oh so when he says d at johnson it's probably the hotel johnson i feel like he said yeah johnson house so that must be the hotel <laughs> after all the numbers he just says yeah it was really hot <laughs> everyone was sick except for me too Okay, June 28th, hot, cool in evening, 
ran preliminary line D station zero to or stake, I don't know, to 162, went to Melbourne, Melbourne on, oh, number 11, I wrote Noel, D at farmhouse. Dinner at Farmhouse. Supper and all night at Mrs. Dice's. Four miles from Melbourne. I went to order supper. Oh my god. <laughs> and got chased by a bull. Ran. Oh my god. He has the worst luck in the world. This is funny. He went to order supper and got chased by a bull, ran onto a skunk on his way back. That sucks. <laughs> and you leave, I think I'm having a bad day, geez. Lily and I got, in <laughs> oh my gosh, and Lily and I got into the wrong room. What did he do that was unlucky the day before? <laughs> That's the unluckiest entry I've ever heard. Listen to this day, Ian. Did you hear it? No. This poor guy, he worked all day. Then he went to order supper and got chased by a bull. And when he was running, he ran onto his skunk. And then when he got into his hotel, they went into the wrong room. <laughs> Mother Nature had to challenge him before granting him as a mayor. Yeah. He's being tested. <laughs> that is funny. What an awful chain of events. Yeah, he needs the four-leaf clover. He actually has... Where did the diary go? Here it is. He actually did put a four-leaf clover in this book. Imagine if he mentioned it. Spent all day looking for a four-leaf clover to curb the bad luck that's been plaguing me. <laughs> this is his four-leaf clover. Oop. From 1901... He hasn't really mentioned, though, finding it, so we don't know who found it, when they found it. Maybe he'll mention it. That is funny. Ran preliminary line D. It's simultaneously the luckiest diary because it has the four-leaf clover. And the unluckiest. Station 162 to station 242. That's so sad. B and D at Dice's. Breakfast and dinner at Dice's. Fried chicken. All of line in woods with heavy underbrush. Except about 1,000 feet. Number 14 to Red Oak. S at Depot Hotel. Applied to C, G, and W for a job. <laughs> He's like, screw this. I'm sick of getting chased by bulls and getting sprayed by skunks. All for not even getting a raise. Went swimming. Oh, you know what? He probably is frustrated because remember in, I think it was January, he got shorted on his paycheck too. Like this... Railroad isn't really showing that they appreciate him very much. Went swimming with Schnell and Smith in AM to Methodist Church in evening. Had headache. Sad. Had a headache. Man, that one really was quick. 7 o'clock and we're done with June. I feel like I just ran through it. So a couple of interesting entries. <laughs> I liked the one with the bull. I think it's funny. I feel bad for him, but I think that's funny. <laughs> that's going to be a memorable one. So I wonder, is there anything we can like look up for a couple minutes? I do have some homework I need to do, so it's probably good that I ended early we have to look into one two two six more and see if it is that barn exchange if they had food like he went there for supper i also wonder on the day he went to order supper but got chased by the bull and the skunk did he actually get his supper be sad if he didn't get there <laughs> 
There was one time that me and my cousin, I think she actually just sent me this picture. We have a picture of a goat because we took this picture. We were at my aunt's house and they have farms near her house. So we were walking down the street, just hanging out and we saw a cute goat. So we stopped to take a picture of the goat, but there was like a bull in the field or maybe it wasn't even in the same field but it was in like a field next to it and as we we're taking a picture of the goat the bull started like charging at us and there was a fence but the thing was going full speed so we were thinking it was just gonna keep going so we ran for our lives it was it's funny now but it was scary it didn't actually do anything it just like started running and then stopped but that's funny that um she just sent me that picture yesterday as a little reminder every once in a while. <laughs> All right. So I have, there's a couple of like hotels that he mentioned, but that's really it. Hotel Johnson at Red Oak. And then there's George Roulette from Red Oak. So we could, um, let's look up. Hotel Johnson, Red Oak, Iowa. Oh, cool. That was easy. Sometimes it's not so easy. Okay, so this is Hotel Johnson, Red Oak, Iowa. It looks very like a city building. I found a couple of pictures from this. It's the digital Grinnell, Grinnell Libraries. I found a couple of things on there. I should probably save that. I'm going to paste these in here so that we have them later, but... Hotel Johnson. Then, let's see, is this inside? Oh, cool. Oh, sweet, look at this. This is the inside of the Red Oak, Oak Hotel. January 1936, this is, and so this is a lot later than the diary, but that's the Hotel Baxter. Here's some talk about that one. Very cool. I'm saving this one too. I like it. It looks like the building is old, so I guess it's probably the same building. Just years later. I like that. I feel like I never get to see inside the buildings that we look up. Okay, here we'll go back and see. This is just a quick Google search too. I'm sure we can find more. What the heck is going on here? Oak. Postcards from Red Oak. I bet Red Oak is a bigger city and that's why there's a lot of stuff. Because I feel like some of those smaller ones we can't find anything. Okay, so what other one? The Johnson Hotel? Did he say what, what town that was in? Johnson House, Red Oak. Okay. Or is the Johnson... He said Johnson Hotel, didn't he? Because Johnson House, it could be someone's house, but I thought he said the Johnson Hotel. Do you guys remember? I don't know. The Depot Hotel, so the, we could look that up. Red Oak. Depot Hotel, Iowa. The Roadway Inn. <laughs> the World War II Memorial Museum. Kind of looks like a depot, though. Restored Burlington Depot Museum. BN. I don't know if that's actually Burlington. BN. Yeah, the CB&Q Depot, known as the Red Oak Burlington Northern Depot and World War II Memorial Museum, is a historic train depot located in Red Oak, Iowa. Cool. Oh, the Burlington and Missouri River Railroad. So it was, I think that's what it was named before. It offers a unique glimpse into the past. Cool, so we can actually look inside this too. I don't know if that's where the hotel was exactly, but... Oh, that's cool. That's neat that we can see inside. Ow! Cool.
multiple floors. Train bulletin. Oh, that's all the people who take care of it today. Got any exhibits we can look at? No. It's never anything online. I know he needs the four-leaf clover. <laughs> Oh. Okay, hold on. It says the original building was replaced, so I don't know if this one is the one that he would have been in. Oh, it's restored. Okay, hold on. A visit to the restored BN Depot Museum offers a nostalgic glimpse into Red Oak's glorious railroad history. Additionally, the depot provides the community with charming, affordable venue for a charming, affordable venue for events. That's cool. Railroad and Red Oak Depot were once the hub of area travel and commerce. When the railroad first crossed Montgomery County in 1869, the changes were immediate. Okay. And then the CB&Q company, that's actually the company he works for, moved the tracks to the High Line to avoid seasonal flooding of tracks. The original structure near Market Street was replaced with a brick building of Romanesque architecture in 1903. I wonder if the work that Ralph is doing right now has to do with that moving the tracks to the high line. That must mean like moving them to higher ground to avoid flooding. That must be what he's doing partially in building or in planning out these new routes. And then in 1903, when that is all completed, they have a new depot. The beautiful new depot featured a spacious waiting room, full service cafe, smoking lounge, ladies waiting room, ticket window, station agent's office, telegraph service, baggage room, mail and freight service. Trains carried passengers and freight from east and west coast plus many points between. Cool. I wanted to see more pictures though. That's cool that you could, that's a venue. You can have like events there. <laughs> wonder how much it costs. Okay, that's cool. So maybe we can look up Red Oak Depot, Red Oak, Iowa, CBQ Depot, 1900. Cool. Oh, this has been pretty easy to find stuff. Oh, what happened? Here it is. Okay. Red Oak, Iowa. CB&Q Railroad Depot. Ladies on platform. Train arrives in 1906. Why are you not big? Here we go. That's very cool. So that's the depot. 1910. Cool, I like this. Oh, and that's like the train bulletin board that they have still. That's very cool. That's a beautiful ticket booth window. Hold on, you guys can't see. I don't know why. You can't see the top of it. Come on. There's like more to the picture and it's not showing. Well... Up here, it had like the, it says ticket office, just looked cool. Red Oak, Iowa. Oh, that's the bank. So someone really likes Red Oak, Iowa. Oh, I should really look through this page, because look, this is CB&Q Railroad, too. So I should save these. Toledo, Port Dodge, he's talked about that. Okay, I'm going to keep this tab open and look through it after. All right, well, we've got a couple of things. Is there any 
I know, there's a lot for Red Oak. I'm surprised because... I mean, there there's certain ones, certain towns and cities that are bigger that have a lot, but I feel like we've run into a lot that are so small and don't have that much information. This is Red Oak, too. That is so cool. Now, when is this from? It's 1900s, but it looks like it could be closer to Ralph's time because there's horse and buggy over here. Cool. Oh, it's like so weird the way it zooms in, but here we go. It looks so dirty. But that's probably also just because the postcard itself is dirty. A lot of cool postcards on eBay. Okay, what was another one? I, Hotel Johnson. I didn't find that one. Did I? Which one did I find? I did, yeah. Hotel Johnson. I've, like, not um, explored Flickr that much in a long time. But look, this is the Red Oak Middle School. This is a cool picture. Look at this map. That's cool. And the barber shop? Someone went around this town and took pictures of everyone. You know what's kind of cool? This calendar has the railroad on it. That must be, maybe that's the train times actually, not just a calendar. But that was in the depot too. Look at these old bottles. I wish it would zoom in a little bit more. This is really cool. I like this. What year was this taken? In 1935. Okay, so that's not that old. Well, it is, but it's not as old as the diary. Yeah, I saw the Waterloo Airport, too. Always going back to Waterloo. Maxwell. He hasn't really talked about Maxwell. Okay, I guess I gotta search Flickr now. That's gotta be a... I have to add that. Uh, the Calendar Factory. He's talked about Grinnell before. Cool. All right, I guess we'll leave it there. I'll go do my homework. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next week. I already made the event, so if you want to register, it's on there. I'm ready to go. Next week, we're going to read through July. So, yeah, thank you, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Holly. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Velvet. See you next week. And I will, in the meantime, upload May and June to YouTube. And I'll also copy and paste this stuff and put it on the website. So, yeah, we didn't have any diary birthdays. We probably would have if it had shown to people. But what we'll do is this. I'll just show it anyways because it's cute. <laughs> oh, you're next month? Good. Okay, don't forget to tell us. I'm glad. Was the time messed up again? Or did you remember this time? Next week, we won't have to worry about it, right? Next week, it'll be back to normal? Or do you still have another week of weirdness? You remembered, yeah. Of course you did. You're so on top of things. I felt bad when I realized a few of you missed, like, an hour of the live because I my time changed and yours didn't from the 31st. Okay, yes, yeah, so we figured that out, too. I remember at the... Um, online, the video chat, which I need to also put out some dates on the discord for you guys so i'll do that now all right well i know i can't wait either it's so nice like even coming on today i was like thinking about how nice it was that we were actually talking to each other and when i'm on the live it's like silent <laughs> you know it's nice to have the chat but it was cool that we were typing and things were going quicker because you guys were like able to talk you know in real time so it is fun. Definitely a special thing to have with the Diary Detectives. So. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Unless TikTok gets deleted. Then it will be same time on Twitch. Or YouTube. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye. Have a good night.